When school is almost out, which means more time at the pool, out in the sun, and trips to the beach all sound mm -hmm. wonderful. This morning, we're checking the facts on sunscreen to keep you and your family protected. A new Consumer Reports study finds that many of the sunscreens on the market aren't protecting us as well as they claim. WSLS 10's Aaron Brookshire breaks down some of the sunscreen myths. Yeah, and there really are a lot of them and a lot of options when buying sunscreen, so it can get really confusing. Even people who say they use sunscreen on a regular basis don't always have a good understanding of exactly what they're buying. Now, there is some good news, though. Dermatologists say the idea that sunscreen goes bad after a year or won't last from one summer to the next is actually just a myth. The FDA requires that sunscreen lasts for up to three years, so it's okay to pull out that bottle you bought last year. Dr. Philip Wakefield, a dermatologist at Carillion Clinic, tells me that unless this sunscreen has an expiration date, we can expect it to be effective for three years. However, if you keep it in a real hot car, that's the biggest uh, problem where it gets overheated, it may degrade the, the chemicals in it. With intense heat, it may be actually, may be ruined very quickly. So especially if it looks discolored, if you, if you pour it out and you see the, the water separating out of it, or the, you know, something that's odd about it, then it's, 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 it's better not to use it. Yeah. Consumer Reports tested out 60 different sunscreens to see if they delivered on the protection that they claim, especially when it comes to being waterproof. Among the best sunscreens tested are Pure Sun Defense SPF 50 for about $6, Equate Ultra Protection SPF 50 for $8, and No Ad Sport SPF 50 for $10. And for spray sunscreen, some of the best are Equate Sport Continuous Spray SPF 30 from Walmart and DG Body Sport SPF 30 from Dollar General. Both of those will only cost you about $5. And while the SPF and other factors are important, Dr. Wakefield says the best kind of protection is the sunscreen we're actually going to use. So whether you like sprays, lotions, or gels, buy something you like and be sure to apply it often. I'm Erin Brookshire, WSLS 10.